Okay, I'm going to show you guys how to minimize cost using Solver. And basically we have here, we have three workers and three jobs. And each one of these workers has a cost for doing a particular job. Now, one thing this problem doesn't say, but it's just assumed that each worker can only work one job. So if uh, worker one does A, worker C has to, A, worker two has to do B or C, and then worker three. So each worker can only do one job, and, and each uh, job can only have one worker also. So um, this is pretty easy to solve. So let's go ahead and do the solution. And then if you want, uh, you should pause the video, by the way, and, and at least type this in so you can uh, work it along with me because you're going to probably remember a lot better if you're working along with me. So pause the video and go ahead and type this. It would be better to type all this information in so you have it in here nicely. But at least type this much information in so you can uh, follow along with me. Okay, so you should have paused the video and typed that information in. What I'm going to do is I'm going to copy it down here into the solution area. Let me put it right here. So problem A, for, so this is going to be part A here. And I'm just going to say if uh, it's assigned, it's either going to be a 1 or a 0. So I'm just going to start out with all zeros for now. Or I could just randomly put 1 here and 1 here and one here right so we can so we can make a guess now it doesn't really matter because we're going to have excel figure this out but so worker one has one job worker two has one job worker three has one job and each job only has one worker so what we can do we want to sum this so i'm going to go over here i'm going to go auto sum and i'm going to sum these three and then hit enter and double click to send that formula down and uh, so I'm going to put the formula here equals auto sum equals formula text. All right, so th th those those should have those formulas in them. And we're also going to sum the sum the columns. And basically, the reason we're doing that, if there's one worker in each for each job, it'll be one. If there's one, if there's one job, each job has one worker. Each worker does one job and each job has one worker would be one this direction. Okay, so these all should be ones and all these should be ones if you do it correctly. All right, so that's just a way to check it. Have Excel check up. And then for part B, we're going to solve part part B at the same time. And uh, I don't have the answer here. Okay. So we want to, so we basically want to assign the workers to the jobs and we want to minimize, since this is a cost, we want to minimize it. Okay, so we're going to use Solver to do this. And if you don't have Solver, Solver is going to be under Data. And there will be an Analysis section. And Solver should be there. Now, if you don't have it, most of the time on most computers, what you're going to have to do, depending on uh, whether you have a Mac or what version of Excel. But usually you can go here into File. And then you're going to go into Options. And then you're going to go here where it says Add-ins click on that. Once you go into add-ins, this is going to appear down here, Excel add-ins, you're going to go go. And it's going to give you where you can add in. Now, my, mine is checked right here. That's why solver is here. If, yours is, if the solver isn't here, yours is probably unchecked and you have to check it and then go OK. And then in a few seconds, solver will appear up here under the data tab. You'll see solver here on the right. Now, since I already have it, I'm going to hit cancel. OK, once you have solver, you can open up solver. And what you want to do, we want to set objectives. So this is our cost. So we're going to see our cost is right here. And we want to minimize it. Of course, if it's your business, you want to minimize your cost. And we want to change these cells, these, these nine cells. Okay. And then we want to add some constraints. So I'm going to go add. And I want to have all of these. I want them to equal one. That means each worker only does one job, right? I'm going to add another constraint. I'm going to say all of these equal one. 
So each job only has one worker. And I'm gonna go okay. So I've added my constraints, to them. so I'm saying these need to be ones, these need to be one. I wanna change all these nine things, I wanna minimize my cost, and my cost is gonna be right here. Now the only thing I haven't done, I'm gonna, I'm sorry, I forgot to do something here. So I'm gonna close this for now. It'll keep everything that we did so far, but I'm just gonna close it. And here, I'm gonna go equals sum product of these nine, and these nine. So what that does, it takes zero times five plus one times six plus zero times four and adds them all together. Okay. So right now it's 17. Because of this worker costs six, this worker costs five, and this worker costs six, well six plus six plus five is 17. So that would be my total cost. Okay, so let's open up solver again. And so now we still have that pointing right here, my cost, right? Minimize, everything's the same. So now I'm gonna change this to, to GRG. Let's change it to simplex. And this doesn't really matter. You can just leave it go. We'll just go, go ahead and go solve. And then we're gonna go okay. And if we go zoom in here, Looks like it jumped to the wrong Excel here. So now, yeah. So then, we, so now let's go back to the Excel here. So, so this, so what did it do? It changed these all. It changed this, right? Because before we had a one here and a one here. We had a different. It changed it. I said this is the way you want to schedule it, and your cost is going to be fifteen. So, so that that's the way you would minimize. And, and this would work also for bigger jobs, right? So something bigger. Now, sometimes you'd have more than one solution too. Like one person might do it, another person, another time, a person might do it. Have you know, sometimes there's more than one solution. So let's only zoom in on one solution at a time. Kind of an iterative process. Um, the other thing is, what if you was, what if this was profit? Well, then we can go into solver. You would want to maximize it, right? And we go solve again. And I still, I got to go back to my spreadsheet that I'm doing. So this was to maximize profit is 21. I would have, I would have worker one do job B, worker two, two do job C, and worker three do job uh, A. Let me put the formula in here too. Okay, so hopefully that kind of helps. Uh, Solver is very powerful. You know, a lot of people use it also for leaving your programming. Um, and I guess you could look at this as a little bit like a leaving your programming problem. But uh, you don't really have to do any programming. You just have to set it up the right way and the solver takes care of it. So hopefully that helps. Um, I'm going to have my picture up here. So if you like this video, please subscribe. Uh, YouTube just took me off. Took me off. They were quit paying me for my videos because I don't have enough subscribers. So if you subscribe there, I'll probably keep doing these videos. And uh, anyway, thank you. Thanks for watching. Bye.